Hi, today I'm going to show you how to hook up an easy CSV import page so that uh, people can upload many CSVs into one Google Sheet. Uh, so let's get started. I have a uh, destination uh, Google Sheet here with the column names. Um, I also have some magic columns here that easy CSV will uh, nicely fill out, um, but we'll go over that in a minute. So if you go to easy CSV, um, I've already made an account, so I'm just going to go log in. I made the account with my Google account. That will definitely help you. So let's sign in with Google. You'll select your account. We're going to ask for permissions to view your drive because we need to see the sheets um, that you want to go to. We're going to we need to also get permission to write to that sheet. Once you grant permission, uh, you'll be in the app. So this is the first uh, import page we set up. Uh, if this is your first time signing in, you'll get a nice easy setup flow where you, where you can use um, an example spreadsheet like this one to set this up. Um, you'll see this one has three columns here, name, email address, and phone number. That's how I set this up. You'll see they're right here. Those columns of the sheet you want to import should match exactly the destination column names. Uh, so let's take a look. Once you're in here, you would go into Sheet Details and you're going to choose Post to Imports, Post Imports to Google Sheets where you want to send the data. Um, what you'll do is you'll find the sheet that you set up. You can just do a quick search, select it. You can set the worksheet or tab. You see in a Google Sheet there's tabs down here. Uh, by default, if you leave this blank, it'll always just append the data to the first tab. It'll look for the column headers and anything that matches will put it in the, the row from the uh, CSV being imported. You know, if you have a different uh, tab, you can specify that. Uh, we're just not going to specify so that it appends it to the first one. I'm going to save this. Um, so really, you're all set up. So let's take this example um, sheet with Star Wars characters, and we're just going to drag it here. Uh, Easy CSV will, you know, test these rules to make sure, like the email address columns and email, the phone number is a number. So you're going to test to make sure it's valid. Once that happens, you'll see that the email is the of the one I signed up. The other people, maybe on your team who are uploading, will put in their email here, um, which is nice. So if you click import, um, it may take a second as uh, the import process spins up, and you'll see all nine records were sent, and you'll immediately see them sent. Uh, into easy CSV. This is the data from the file. This is the data from the import that easy CSV can magically put in for you. You'll see it's kind of nice because you can see who actually did the import um, based off that email field. You'll also get this unique ID. So if somebody does like 10 imports a day, um, this one will, this column will be set different per import. So in case there's like a bad import or something, you can like go like, oh, which one was bad? Uh, you'll get an email to and you can match up the ID and say anything with this you can delete from your sheet or up or change something from the sheet. Um, also the import time can be set which is awesome uh, because then you can see like oh when did this person import this. Um, now these magic column headers if you look at the docs here which are in the footer of our public page Google Sheets plus easy CSV um, you'll see how to set this up. You'll also see what the magic columns are. So like these all can be these column names. You'll see uh, importer email, importer email, and it'll tell you what it'll fill out. I would recommend always having the importer email, uh, CSV import, and import time here, unless uh, import email was is like your users of your app and you don't want uh, this email visible to your team or um, anybody externally and the sheet isn't locked down enough. I would say don't put this in there then. Um, everything else is pretty good. Uh, you could put the sheet slug, which is, you know, the uh, part of the URL, the sheet ID, import code if you're exchanging temporary import codes. I don't think a lot of people will use this, um, but the people who have a little more heightened security may. Um, and that's all it really takes. You'll just set up the sheet. Um, you'll set the, the destination to be Google Sheets. You'll search for your sheet. Um, and away you go. Thank you.